So Defoe and Smartly, I agree, has put a moratorium on Le LeBron James' mentions. I don't want to hear his name either. But of course, the Christmas Day schedule has come out, and who's right there front and center on Christmas Day? LeBron James and his return to Miami. Is this a big deal? Really? I, I don't want to go to the game. I feel like I'm going to find myself at this game, and I'm going to be all the Twitter. I hope I'm not. I don't want to be near this game. Whatever the reaction is, is going to be the wrong reaction. Honestly. If you cheer him, well, that's sort of strange because he's not your team anymore. If you boo him, oh, Miami, you're poor sports. The guy brought you to four straight finals and two championships. LeBron's return to Miami is more bitter than sweet. The guy left, and we're finding out more and more how douchey he was. <laughs> he didn't leave to go home. He left to spurn two of his really good friends to run an organization. That's it. They would have won more here in Miami. You're telling me the Cavs are a better, better team than what the Miami could have been? No, they're not. What they are is LeBron's organization. He can be GM, president, and CEO. And everyone will just let him do what he wants. I'm sorry, LeBron. You don't run anything. You're a player. Be a player. It blew up in the cast face once. It's going to blow up again. So LeBron returning for the Christmas Day game is utterly ridiculous that people care so much about it. Because you know what? It's a lot more bitter than it is sweet. This is the Loop Tube.